Hey, my name's Tony Thibodeau. I'd like to share with you how I uh, came to know Christ. There's two sides to uh, my story. Uh, the one side is, of course, how I initially came to know Christ. And then there's the other side of my story of how I ran from him and uh, how he found me and uh, brought me back into his will. You know, my story may sound a little like that traditional story of, you know, the kid that grew up in church, but it's but it's far from it. You see, I didn't come from a traditional uh, church family background. Uh, in fact, I was raised by my grandmother. I was the result of a, a teenage pregnancy, and um, I didn't see much of my parents growing up. Uh, you can say it just made me a little bitter by the time I got close to my teenage years. And um, we attended a small little church uh, back in my hometown of Dulac, Louisiana. And uh, it was through that local church that uh, I was exposed to the love of Christ. And um, I remember like it just happened, it was on a Wednesday night that uh, somebody just came to talk with me. Just wanted to know, hey, Tony, you know, if, if something happened to you today, would you go to heaven or hell? Of course, I didn't know quite how to answer him. I just gave him the generic answer. Well, you know, I'd, I'd go to heaven. But out of love, they they really just made helped me understand uh, the importance of knowing Jesus instead of just merely uh, knowing about Jesus. And so that night, I gave my heart to Christ. And uh, I did the best I could to live for him throughout my, my teenage years. But uh, unfortunately, when I became a young adult and God started showing me um, who he wanted me to be. Uh, to my shame, I ran from from him. And uh, I spent probably a good 10 years of my life just running away from him. And during that time, Satan just introduced all sorts of things into my life. Uh, a lot of things that I'm just not proud of at all. But thankfully, before I could hurt myself any further, um, he got a hold of me. And uh, from that point on, he, he showed me that uh, he created me for something more than what I was trying to be. And so since then, I've done my best to, to live for Christ. I can't say it's a perfect life. I can't say I, that I get this right every single day because I could probably count how many times I get it wrong rather than get it right. But I do do my best every day to strive to be the man God created me to be. And I've devoted my life to him. And I've devoted my life to tell others how they too can have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Hey, love y'all and uh, hope we can talk soon.